Hi folks, welcome back to the shop. Today we have something a little bit different. I have this Wilton 4-inch Machinist Bullet Vise. Now if you're not familiar with Wilton, they're made in the USA and they started making vices during World War II. And initially they only made the vices for the US government. Now it gets the bullet name, I believe, from the design of the device. This back end is fully enclosed. There's a worm gear inside the vise. It's got a cap on the end, but there's a worm gear in the vise that brings the jaws open and closed that goes inside of this, this centerpiece here. So everything is self-contained uh, inside and closed so that uh, it's less likely to get dust on it and dirt and that sort of thing, get grimed up in the gears. Vice is very smooth. Uh, if you weren't aware, typically when they refer to vices and they give dimensions, uh, like this is a four inch vice, four inches refers to the width of the jaws. So. That's uh, uh, what they're talking about when they talk about this being a four inch vise. Of course, Wilton made two inch vices, three and a half inch, four inch, and even bigger ones. I wanted the four inch size is what I was interested in. And, uh, and these vices are, can be somewhat hard to come by. Uh, you can see this one's painted, I think really sort of a silver color. This one's been rebuilt. Uh, this particular model is a 1970 vise. You can find the date on these vices by unwinding the jaws and it's rare, very far in the back on this, uh, this piece here. You'll see it in the back. Uh, I think they call it the axle or something where, where that piece of metal sleeves into the bottom. And there'll be a month and a year on that that, that tells you uh, when the vise was manufactured. Uh, I did look at some 1941 and 42 vices. They, I found out that they were not dated, uh, the, the first vices the company made. And then in the late later 40s, they would date vices uh, based on the warranty period. So the actual date would be five years out from the manufacturing date. But anyway, this one was made much later in 1970. Uh, in this, uh, and, and you'll notice that it's got a, a section back here uh, to use as sort of an anvil uh, if you're hammering things, uh, that sort of thing. It's, of course, it's 100% uh, cast uh, vise. Uh, I'll flip it around here so you can maybe get a look at the other side. And you can see the, the exact model number on this one. It's 101028, right? Right, uh, right here is the model number. So the also had, uh, you'll notice that it says it was made in, in Schiller, you know, Illinois. And the original vices uh, didn't have Schiller on there. Uh, I think it was Chicago. They had moved, I think, to Schiller later on. So the older vices will actually, I believe, say Chicago on here. And it's one way to tell if, if the vice is uh, uh, an older vice as to, as to, as one of the markings that you can find on them. So I've learned a lot about these vices. Initially, I'd, I'd looked at all kinds of brands and models. And I guess my logic was that if you're going to buy a vice, anything that's, you know, on par with this particular vice, you're spending somewhere around $300 for a vice that's made in Taiwan. And they're, you know, they're good vices, but I thought it'd be great to, to get something that was made in the USA and something of this quality. So uh, I do know that if you buy a new vice like this from Wilton, they sell, and they're still made in America. Wilton makes vices in America and in Taiwan, depends on what, what vice you get. But the ones they make in America, this vice today, a four inch, costs $1,400 on Wilton's website. So they are uh, quite a bit uh, in terms of price. And, and these vices have slowly gone up in price. Uh, and of course they bring a little more money if they're cleaned up, but you can clean any Wilton vice up. You know, if you get one that's rusty, of course you can use a wire cup on a disc grinder and a wire wheel and uh, typical method for restoring those vices. There's all kinds of videos on that. This one has smooth jaws on it. Uh, of course these are, you can buy soft jaws for this or replacement jaws that have cross, uh, cross hatching on here. Uh, I, I like the smooth jaw, and uh, I'll, I'll put some uh, soft jaws on here. Now, when I got this vise, there was some surface level corrosion on the anvil and on the side here and a little bit on top. Well, you know, I worked with that and, and got that cleaned off and, and, and of course, added a little bit of oil uh, to the vise. But just all, all in all, just a great uh, piece of equipment, excellent tool, uh, something that, uh, you know, if you put something it's very precise in terms of using this jaw. You really feel it's solid. If you put something in here, it's not going anywhere. And so just an excellent, excellent build on this tool. And uh, in this case, I thought it was kind of interesting to get something that uh, maybe has a little bit of a story behind it. Uh, like I said, if you're, you're buying a vice, like you could get a Yoast, 
I think it's the Yoast 455 on Amazon, which is a good vice. Uh, right now it sells for right around $100. I think the Doyle vice is also a pretty good one that you can get at Harbor Freight, but it's out of stock right now, even on their website, uh, out of stock. Uh, so uh, that's kind of what led me to looking at Wilton and then trying to see what I could find and on, on Marketplace and Craigslist and eBay, et cetera. This particular vice I did buy on eBay, had it shipped to me, and they did put it on a board. They, they screwed it down, came with uh, three screws. If you're, and I explain this because some folks might not be familiar. If, if you're familiar with these vices, you'll know all about this, but they screw this down to a piece of uh, OSB and put it in a box and of course pad, put a lot of padding around it and ship it. So it actually shipped within two days UPS ground and uh, I was surprised at how little their damage there was because they mounted it on that board. There, you know, there really was no damage. Um, so again, that, that, that kind of surprised me. But, uh, but there you have it. Uh, I, I guess we can show maybe some more angles of the vise, get a better look at it. As you can see, it had some rust on it, and it's, the rust has been, you know, knocked back, and, and, and of course the vise has been taped and painted. Got a cap here on the end, that's removable. There's no shortage, I think, of restoration videos for this uh, particular vise. But it weighs about 55 pounds, somewhere in that ballpark. At least that was the shipping weight. But, but there you have it, folks. Uh, just wanted to show this real quick. I thought some folks might be interested in, and looking at one of the made in the USA Wilton vices, uh, definitely an excellent uh, piece of equipment. Uh, for me, it's kind of just an interesting thing to have. And, and, and in my mindset, the way I looked at it, I was interested in paying a little bit more for this. I did find one locally uh, that had an excellent price. I think it was, ooh, it had a really good price. I think it was around $200 was what the gentleman was willing to sell it for, part with it for. Uh, the only drawback there is he didn't have the base to the vice. And his particular vice, I, I called Wilton and dated it. Uh, it was, it was the, the Wilton technician told me that that vice that the gentleman had, which did not have a date on the bottom, some of the, like I said, some of the older ones didn't. He told me that it was somewhere around 1941 or 42. Uh, it had to be given uh, uh, the markings on the outside of the vice and the fact that it wasn't dated. But yeah, no base on the vice, and I did want to be able to pivot the vice. Uh, came, and I also wanted to be able to have the vice raised up a little bit from the work surface. So I uh, came close to getting that one. Wish that one would have worked out, frankly. But anyway, this, uh, this is the Wilton Made in the USA uh, Machinist 4-inch bullet vise. Uh, and uh, if you're in, in the market for advice, hey, please leave a comment on what vice that you like. I know there's all kinds out there and as I was sort of researching this and trying to get up to date on what the, the latest information is. One thing I like about these vices is, you know, it's, uh, you buy them and they, they, you know, they're, they might cost you a few dollars more, but the great thing is that you know, odds are they're going to, well, they're going to retain their value. That's fairly certain. Uh, and there's a good chance they'll go up in value. Uh, of course, I'm not looking to make a bunch of money or anything, but I do like buying something that, you know, you take reasonably good care of it. Uh, it's going to retain its value. So uh, that's, that, you know, it really can't be said for one of the, uh, uh, one of the other vice options out there on the market. Anyhow, folks, uh, please, uh, if you, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. And uh, as usual, please uh, like and comment and, and we'll catch you on the next video.